Sugar Ray Robinson and Jake LaMotta met so often in the ring that Jake said they almost got married. I'm Ray Leonard, and welcome to another edition of Sugar Ray's Hit Parade. This duo was boxing's version of the odd couple. Sugar Ray Robinson was classy and stylish in and out of the ring, a successful Harlem businessman. He was a dapper dresser with a closet full of suits. Jake LaMotta, on the other hand, was the total opposite, rough and rude. Robinson has been called the greatest fighter, pound for pound. To him, boxing was to prove who was smarter, to hit and not get hit. LaMotta had a different philosophy. Boxing was to prove who was the toughest, exchange punch for punch, and see who remained standing at the end. As welterweight contenders, Robinson and LaMotta met five times. Robinson won every time, except in 1943 when LaMotta sported a streak of 40 straight wins. Following that fight, Robinson did not lose again for more than eight years. In 1951, they met again. This time, a clash for LaMotta's middleweight title. It was their sixth and final meeting, and Robinson was the four to one favorite. LaMotta growled, I got too much heart and stamina to be his Valentine. Let's go to Chicago Stadium. Valentine's Day, 1951, for a classic, Robinson versus LaMotta, six. All right, so we're all set to go here. Scheduled 15 round world middleweight championship. There's Jake LaMotta, Jake in terrific shape. Round number one, the bell is sounded and we're ready to go. As you know, this is the sixth time these two men have fought. LaMotta right after Ray Robinson. This is the third title defense for the champion, Jake LaMotta. Jake coming in at 78, 15, and 3, 28 knockouts. Sugar Ray coming off a big string of five wins over in Europe just before the end of the year last year. He's 120 victories. The only loss, barring his record, is against the very man in the black trunks, Jake LaMotta. 20, 120 wins, one loss and one draw with 75 knockouts. And as you well know, Sugar Ray Robinson is the world welterweight champion. 147-pound champ. If he wins tonight, he gives up that title to become the middleweight champion. Both men able to manipulate his opponent. You see the nice body shots by Jake LaMotta here in round one. Robinson has a nice ability to tie him up. Of course, Ray at age 30 is right in the prime of his career. Jake just a year younger. And as they take a look at the tail of the tape, you see, of course, Ray Robinson is three inches taller. He's four and a half pounds lighter. He's that year older, but has a five-inch reach advantage over Jake LaMotta. Raging Bull comes inside, likes to fight inside, and knows how to use that left hand in the face. He has a nice jab. Look at the way he throws it, too. Throw it from different angles. Look at the body shots by Jake LaMotta. Jake lost four of his previous five fights to Ray Robinson. He wants this bad tonight. LaMotta won his title in 1949 from Frenchman Marcel Serdan. You know, they were supposed to have that return match before the unfortunate plane crash when, of course, uh, Marcel Serdan was killed and a real tragedy for the boxing world and the people of France to have a shot at uh, seeing their former world champ get back at Jake LaMotta, but it wasn't meant to be. And right now, it's a question of what's meant to be because both of these men are in tremendous condition. You know, you never know about Ray Robinson, but you know, we do know that he fought five times last month, about two months ago, rather, uh, in December. He fought, actually, November 27th, December 9th, December 16th, December 22nd, and on Christmas Day in Europe, all in Europe, scored four knockouts, so he should be in terrific shape. Coming up to the closing seconds of this kind of even first round. Both men showing that they can score on different occasions. And the bell ends the first round. All right, so we're set with round number two, scheduled for 15, World Middleweight Championship. Jake LaMotta in the black trunks against Sugar Ray Robinson in the white trunks. Jake LaMotta in 78 victories, 15 losses, three draws, 28 knockouts. The pride of Bronx, New York, here in Chicago Stadium. They love both of these fighters. We just get the announced crowd at 14,802 
in the stadium tonight. A lot of guys out here, and that kind of surprises me on the 14th of February in the year of 51. The boys are out, and the girls are at home on Valentine's night. Jake Clamont keeps that left jab pounding in the face of Ray Robinson, and that's what he'd like to do. As most of you are aware of, Jake LaMotta has never been down in his career, and Ray Robinson has never been knocked out. So you've got two tough men here. Even that questionable Billy Fox affair a few years ago, that Jake wouldn't go down. He's in terrific shape for this fight. You can just see he wants it so bad. And again, it's that plotting tactics, always coming forward, Jake LaMotta. And the reigning welterweight champion of the world, Sugar Ray Robinson, is able to Hold him off, backpedaling, sliding, circling to his left. Classic boxer against the puncher and brawler. Ray Robinson through the first round and here in the second round, up on his toes, continues to circle left, backs away. One of the few men in boxing that can have a definitive good left jab while he's backing away. Nobody has ever been able to do that. And he does it as good as anybody. Those easy victories in December certainly kept him in great condition. And I think his handlers like to see him working because, you know, he's the star down in Harlem. They love him up there, and he loves the after training nights out. But tonight he's in terrific shape. And that's why his handlers had him go to Europe and fight five times in the month of December. No holiday for Ray Robinson. Oh, look at the way Ray landed these shots. I think that hurt Jake LaMotta right to the left side of his rib cage. LaMotta a little bit more tentative here now in round number two. But uh, that real good right hand crashed into the rib cage of Jake LaMotta. Robinson has got plenty of power in spite of the fact he's uh, four and a half pounds lighter. Coming up to the end of round number two now. This has been an interesting round. Oh, nice left hook at the bell. And here we go with round number three, Chicago Stadium. I'm Bob Sheridan. Glad that you can be with us for this scheduled 15-round World Middleweight Championship. It's the sixth fight between Jake LaMotta in the black trunks and Sugar Ray Robinson in the white trunks. Jake ties him up for one of the few clinches in the fight. Referee Frank uh, Sikora not having to do too much with these men because they know exactly what they want to do. And they don't tie each other up too much thus far. We're only in round three, though, in the scheduled 15-round World Championship fight. 160-pound division. LaMotta keeps coming forward. Look at the jab of Ray Robinson. Sugar Ray bounces that left off the forehead. Back with a straight left of his own is Jake LaMotta. LaMotta continues to stalk his man. And notice the hand speed of Ray Robinson. Sugar Ray bangs him inside. Frank Sikora does not want to interfere with the fight because the crowd really is enjoying this one. Nice left hook that time by Jake LaMotta. LaMotta continues to stalk his man. Robinson, the classic boxer, left, left, left. Three times with the left hand in the face. The hand speed and the ability to land that left has been a trademark of Sugar Ray Robinson through his years of boxing. This is his 11th year as a professional prize fighter. Wild with the right hand that time, but the left grazes the jaw of Jake LaMotta. LaMotta lands two light jabs of his own. This is round three action, and there's two more jabs. But notice when Robinson wants to plant his feet and throw that right hand, he's shown the ability. I think the best punch was in that last round when he crashed that right hand to the ribs of LaMotta, and that's got to take its toll if he's able to do that. When Jake throws his left hand out, Ray Robinson is, hey, right there again. Oh, wow. Look at this. Look at the body shot. Notice the body shot. And he's going for that same spot right behind the left elbow all the time of Jake LaMotta. And that is going to take its toll before this night is over. We're only in round three, but already I can see Ray Robinson zooming in, zeroing in to the position of the rib cage, the left side of the body of Jake LaMotta. Watch when he throws the right hand. He wants to nail him right behind that left elbow of LaMotta, hurting the left rib cage, and he has hurt it, of Jake. That will bring down the left hand and leave the right hand of Robinson open to hit the jaw of LaMotta. LaMotta, on the other hand, doesn't seem to have a fight plan. Nice left hand, right hand scores by Sugar Ray Robinson. LaMotta, as I started to say, just keeps coming forward. He's the brawler, and that's all he wants to do is brawl. 
closing seconds now of this the third round a good third round Number four action now. Chicago Stadium, the crowd of close to 15,000 jamming into this arena. A beautiful, beautiful place for a prize fight. Chicago Stadium. And we want to wish all the women watching around the world a happy Valentine's Day. Jake LaMotta continues to want to brawl. He comes forward, lands a couple of shots to the head of the welterweight champion, Sugar Ray Robinson. Of course, Jake is the reigning middleweight champ. We talked about him winning the title a few years ago for Marcel Serdan. This is his third title defense. And so far, Robinson is using his reach and using his height advantage to try and hold off the brawling style of Lamont as best he can. You see that time, he went with the left hook behind the right elbow to the body of Jake Lamont. The jab in the face of Lamont again. Lamont wants to load up two nice left hooks to the solo fighters of Sugar Ray Robinson. Closing seconds now, this is the fourth round. We're set to go with round number five. Bob Sheridan here at Chicago Stadium. It's the 15 round scheduled World Middleweight Championship. Jake LaMotta in the black trunks, the reigning champ against the tremendous slick looking Sugar Ray Robinson. You see why they call him Sugar Ray. He is as sweet as sugar out there in the sweet science of boxing. Look at him, he tries to get the jab through as LaMotta counters with his right hand. Right hand lead that time by LaMotta. Now let's see how Robinson handles this. And this is the fifth round of a scheduled 15 round affair for the world title. Remember today at the weigh-in, LaMotta had a little bit of a problem with his weight. He was able to come in just at 160. If he had been overweight, the fight was going to continue tonight. However, he would have lost the title on the scales and given it to Sugar Ray Robinson. And then this would have been a non-title fight. But that didn't happen. Jake trained like the bull he is to get ready for this fight. And as they say that, Ray Robinson lands a nice combination. I thought that uh, LaMotta may have won the first round. Robinson definitely won two and three. And I thought LaMotta might have won the fourth. So it's a fairly close fight here. Fifth round action. You see LaMotta gets through every once in a while with the left hand, the left hand. But I see more of a fight plan for Sugar Ray Robinson. Robinson wants to bang that rib cage again. He goes downstairs to the body again. Back upstairs with the left hand in the face of Jake LaMotta. LaMotta comes forward. Ray Robinson continues to back off, but he's able to land that right hand behind the left elbow, uh, seemingly whenever he wants to set up LaMotta for that to hurt him. And he has, in my opinion, hurt that rib cage, but LaMotta is so strong. He's never been down, and we mentioned that questionable fight he had with Billy Fox. He wouldn't even go down in that one. He refuses to go off his feet. Once in a while, these two guys talk to each other in the ring here, too. LaMotta goes with the left hook downstairs, then upstairs with it. Ray Robinson able to hold him off. He faints with the left and then catches him with a good left. Nice left hook that time by Sugar Ray Robinson, the reigning welterweight champion of the world. He bounces it off the face, comes to the uppercut, one whistle past the nose, one over the head of Jake LaMotta. LaMotta continues to come forward. Robinson continues to backpedal, slides around to the left. Looking for the opportunity to land the right hand with that rib cage. He bounces the left off the face. And Lamont having a real good round five here. People here in Chicago love seeing the right hand get through by Ray Robinson. And right behind that, you notice that right hand in the rib cage again? It's almost a kidney shot, but not quite. He's banging him right on that left rib cage. And because of that, notice the left hand of Jake Lamont, the middleweight champion, how he's hanging it so low. We're in the closing seconds of the fifth round. It's been a good fifth round, but a big, big punch at the end to end the fifth round of this fight. They keep on going. There's the bell now. Sugar Ray Robinson made the most of that beautiful left jab during the early rounds. When he started putting his combinations together, he started to do away with his champion, Jake LaMotta. Their ring rivalry was a long and bitter one. LaMotta had beaten Robinson just once in five attempts. Now LaMotta was throwing punches from every direction and was getting the best of Robinson in the fifth. When we come back, We'll see if Robinson can regain control or if Jake LaMotta can continue that desperate assault. All right, 
right. Both men are very anxious and ready to get going here for the sixth round of this world middleweight championship fight. We're coming to you from Chicago Stadium. I'm Bob Sheridan. Glad that you can be with us. Sugar Ray Robinson, the reigning welterweight champion, taking on the world middleweight champion, Jake LaMotta, in the black front. LaMotta has continued to come forward, and I think he's had a real good fourth and fifth round. Ray Robinson takes a light left hand, uh, and maybe it's light from where we sit here at ringside, but it's a pretty good left hand now that I uh, think about it again. Look at this. LaMotta bangs away with that left hand. And that's a kind of a classic way when Ray Robinson wants to rest a bit. He has a tendency to hook the elbow down, but when he does that, he always leaves the right hand free of his opponent, in this case, LaMotta, has a lot of power in his right hand. He caught him with a light right hand, good right hand that time, wow, with the left hand is Jake LaMotta. LaMotta comes forward. He's pressuring the welterweight champion, Robinson, a little bit more here now in the sixth round. Jake can feel victory, and he wants it so bad. Ray Robinson has just flat out boxed him in the previous uh, five uh, times that they've met. This is their sixth meeting, and every time they meet, I'll say one thing, everybody, including myself, gets their money's worth. It's unbelievable. And the crowd here in Chicago, almost 15,000 strong, has turned out to see these two men from New York. You know that Jake is from the Bronx, born Giacobbe Lamotta. We know him as Jake, the raging bull. And you see the way he's fighting tonight, why they call him the ball. As the left hand now, as Robinson wants to change things in the second part of this sixth round. Robinson up on the toes, now backpedaling. And you see Jake landing some good body shots to Sugar Ray Robinson. Jake continues to come forward. Ray Robinson trying to hold him off of that light jab, light jab. Watch the right hand of Ray Robinson. He wants to bang those ribs again. He'll do it in the middle of a combination. He wants to hurt Lamont and get that left hand down. Jake comes in with his hands down. He just doesn't care. And that's why Ray Robinson is able to hold him off a bit with that jab because Jake just throws his punches wide. He doesn't seem to mind taking a shot to get one in. He is some kind of tough guy from the Bronx. Of course, the people uptown in Harlem want Ray Robinson to win. And there's that left jab on the chin to hold him off. Wild right hand there. Both men landing punches here now in the sixth round. This is a good action-packed round again. Actually, I shouldn't say that because what round hasn't been action-packed with these two? Lamana coming forward all the time, the classic pursuer. Look at this, look at the hand speed of Sugar Ray Robinson. Now we're coming up to the closing portion. This is the sixth round of this World Middleweight Championship fight. Both men working very hard. More of an even round this time in the sixth. Set to go for round number seven. I've got this fight dead even. You see Jake Lamana coming off the stool. He's ready to go. Did you notice his handlers rubbing the rib cage a bit uh, and, and really getting him going to get him off that stool? I wonder just how much those three or four real good body shots that Ray Robinson has landed to the left rib cage of Jake Lamana is beginning to take its toll. Lamana with a left hook of his own backs off Ray Robinson. That's a real solid left hook by Lamana, but he hasn't dropped Robinson. Ray Robinson has never been KO'd. And Jake, as you know, has never been on his PC, you might say. He's never been down on the canvas. Seventh round action here in Chicago Stadium. Glad that you can be with us wherever you're watching around the world. The 160-pound World Middleweight Championship. Two tremendous fighters, Jake Lamotta and Sugar Ray Robinson. No matter what happens tonight, we haven't heard the last of these two men. They're both legends. They'll be talking about the great series of fights that these men have already had for years to come in boxing circles. Every time, in spite of the fact that Robinson has won four of the five, it's been a fight like this. This fight is pretty close to even and very difficult to score because of the contrasting style. Lamana seems to land a lot of blows and seems to force the fight, but the counter-punching of Ray Robinson will catch the eyes of the judges. And that's another thing. The judges always seem to go and cast their eye towards the flashier of the two fighters, and the flashier of the two is Ray Robinson. So in close rounds, if you're scoring along with us at home, in spite of the fact that he big shots like that left hook landing by Jake LaMotta, LaMotta has got to definitively win his round, where Ray Robinson can just kind of sneak by winning his rounds. It's the style. And your eye just has a tendency to float towards the busy guy who steps to the left, back to his right, uses the left, nice right hand, scored by Sugar Ray Robinson. Robinson caught Jake, but he hasn't been able to shake him. Look at the legs, still plenty of bounce in the legs. 
if you call it bounce, and Lamotta's plotting style. He just keeps coming forward. You've got to thrust a sword into this bull to stop it. Uppercut, left hook by Ray Robinson. Sugar Ray up on his toes again, bouncing around, continually circling to his left. Takes that quick shovel step, comes back to his right now. Now he's backpedaling to his left, and you see Lamotta continuing to applaud. Notice that quick left hand on the nose of Jake Lamotta, again on the nose of Jake Lamotta. Lamotta's nose is flattened out. They're both getting a little bit puffy around the uh, eyes. Both of these men have been hit. There's another one in the face of Ray Robinson. Coming up to the closing portion now of this the seventh round, and this has been a good round, and I think it's probably Sugar Ray Robinson's round. This is round number seven coming to an end now. This ESPN Classic. The action continues in round number eight as Ray Robinson tries to pick up the pace that he established in the seventh round. Jake Lamotta does not want to let him off the hook, though. He keeps coming forward. Lands the right hand. Robinson tries to hold him off the left jab. Robinson goes with a left jab again. The jab bounces off the nose of Jake Lamotta. Look at the face of Jake. Another one bounces off that flattened out nose of Jake Lamotta. I wouldn't be surprised if he's got a broken nose already. His face is a mess, and you can see a nice uppercut just grazed the nose that time of uh, Jake Lamotta. Ray Robinson digs to the body, and uh, this is a tough fight for both men. Coming into the fight, Ray Robinson was actually favored, and you can see why. He seems to be outboxing Jake right now. The uh, way the fight has unfolded in the early portion of the first round, I thought Lamotta probably won that. Robinson came back on boxing in two and three, and then Lamotta had a terrific fourth and fifth round, six rounds sort of even. Ray Robinson had a great seventh round, and here in the eighth, I think Ray Robinson is having a terrific eighth round as well. Here he is up on the toes. Notice that left jab right in the face. Coming up to the closing portion now of round number eight. Big finish for both men. We're set to go with round number nine. Both been very anxious. You know, the Sugar Ray is up on his feet and ready to go. The mouthpiece goes in. Jake is the same way. They can't wait to get back at each other. And I've got it a very even fight. I've got Ray Robinson out in front, four rounds to three and one even. That's only an indication the judges will do the official scoring. This is round number nine. Ray Robinson trying to keep up what he's been doing in the seventh and eighth round here. In the ninth round, look for the hand speed. And he's really, really doing a job in the face of Jake Lamotta. That left eye of Jake is puffed up. You know that the rib cage on the left side is sore. And notice the way Jake, with every round now, is kind of hanging that left arm down a little bit more. You see how low it is? He usually throws punches from any angle, but it's really noticeably, in my opinion, much lower right now. A lot of that is because he wants to protect the rib with the elbow, and he also just doesn't care if he gets hit in the face with a jab of Ray Robinson. What he has to look out for is the right hand of Ray Robinson, because Ray is uh, using the jab the time he uses the shoulder to try to set him up. Watch the right hand of Ray Robinson. It's there for him. He uses the jab to take the vision away. I'm looking for the right hand of Ray Robinson, and I'm looking for it again. I see Ray must see what I see, but it's a whole different thing when you got to stand right in there and have a Jake Lamotta coming at you. Instead, it's Lamotta who throws the right. It just raises the nose of uh, Ray Robinson, a middleweight champion of the world against the welterweight champion. If Robinson can win this fight, he becomes the world middleweight champ. And that's what he hopes to do is to keep his streak going. If he wins tonight, it'll be five and six wins. But every single fight has been just as competitive as this one. I've again got Robinson just slightly out in front of Lowe. A nice left hook that time. Oh, nice left hook again by Sugar Ray Robinson. And this is just complimenting the style of Ray Robinson as Lamotta just comes forward. Notice the left hand down. He's wide open for right hand shots of Ray. He really hasn't done it because his left hand is so effective. He's just beating up the face. It looks like a neat tenderizer that he's using on the face of Jake Lamotta. Lamotta is some kind of tough. Doesn't know what the word quit means. Keeps coming forward. Ray on his toes, bouncing off. Throws. Look at the combination. He landed the right hand in the ear of Lamotta that time. Lamotta doesn't even take a heavy breath. Just keeps coming forward. Action from the ninth round continues. And this is a tough round for Jake Lamotta. I'll tell you this, that Sugar Ray Robinson is really taking command here. As I say that, look at the way the bull comes back. Some kind of tough. You wouldn't want to face this guy on a Saturday night in the Bronx. Wow, look at the left hook that time. And it doesn't do anything to Jake. 
right hand is there. He comes to the uppercut. Robinson picking up the pace here in the ninth. Scores another big right hand. He knows it's there. He uses it when he wants. Closing second down the ninth round. And Lamata has got his hands full of Sugar Ray Robinson. Jake LaMotta became a punching bag for Sugar Ray Robinson. His feet are moving ever so slowly while Robinson danced around the ring. Robinson was doing a smart thing. He's aiming for the body and then going to the head. It's amazing that LaMotta managed to stay up. In all his battles with Robinson, Jake had never been knocked down. He's still standing, throwing punches, and looking for the punch to slow Robinson down and maybe take him out. In the corner now as we get ready for round number 10. I thought 7, 8, and 9 were particularly difficult rounds for this man, Jake LaMotta. His brother in there working with him, shouting some encouragement to him. But I'll tell you, LaMotta looks like he's sore as we get ready to go to the 10th round. I thought Sugar Ray Robinson had his best round in the 9th. Let's see if it continues that way here in the 10th. Bob Sheridan, we're at Chicago Stadium, along with close to 15,000 individuals that are loving this fight. It's very competitive, although it's looking more and more like Ray Robinson is going to do exactly what the betters uh, thought he would do, and that is to win this fight. Robinson up on his toes, backpedaling, continues to backpedal. Look at the combination of shots, and he hits Jake Lamotta with everything. For Ray, it's going to be frustrating. He must be saying to himself, what do I have to hit this guy with to drop him? And you know Lamotta's talking to him all the time, saying, is that the best you got, Ray? Well, it just infuriates him and watch him throw more punches. But notice the way LaMotta keeps coming forward. Doesn't know what it means to back off. Look at that nice left jab in the face of LaMotta. My big question is beginning to be now, how much more punishment can Jake LaMotta take to that face? He's cut around the eyes. He's real puffy around them. A uh, real bad, bad series of punches being landed uh, continually now by Sugar Ray Robinson. And you notice the diminishing amount of heavy shots being landed by Jake LaMotta. This is turning into a pretty good fight for the reigning welterweight champion of the world, Sugar Ray Robinson, who, if things continue this way, is going to lift the middleweight crown from Jake LaMotta. LaMotta's held the crown for quite a while now since he defeated Marcel Serdan. He defended the title twice. Since winning the belt, he defeated uh, Tiberio Marti back in 1950 in July. And then Laurent Zahil, he defeated in September of 1950, just uh, a few months ago. And right now, he's got a whirlwind of problems with Sugar Ray Robinson. Robinson, if he does win this, must give LaMotta a rematch within 90 days. But we've seen stranger things happen in the world of boxing. Sir Dan was supposed to get a shot back at LaMotta, and LaMotta had a shoulder problem. Then he came over, was on his way over in that tragic plane crash, taking the life of Marcel Serdan, and the French haven't forgotten that. A very, very disappointing thing for the entire country of France. One of our great allies. But when it comes to boxing, no ally. Ray Robinson continues to do the job as he backpedals here in kind of a coasting 10th round. Nice shot at the closing portion of this, the 10th round. All right, 11th round action here, and LaMotta tries to put pressure on Sugar Ray Robinson. How effective he is, I really don't know at this stage. Robinson looks mighty fresh, and LaMotta's face does not look good at all. The uppercut landed by Sugar Ray Robinson. Robinson bounces that left off the forehead around those eyes of big Jake LaMotta. LaMotta bangs the rib of Ray Robinson. Robinson continues to backpedal, backpedal. As the bull comes forward, Jake LaMotta trying to land a big shot, but it's the left hook that lands by Sugar Ray Robinson. Robinson continues to back off, but he's able to score punches with that lightning speed in his left hand. Goes with kind of a Kid Gavilan type bolo punch, but never does throw it. And you see LaMotta trying to finish this fight off. What courage! He lands the right hand. He nails it with the left 
instructions to Jake. That was a tough 11th round for Jake LaMotta. Here's Sugar Ray Robinson who's got an idea. He can finish this thing now. He had a terrific 11th round after Jake started out so well. Here we go. Notice that jab, the lightning left jab, the right hand that I said would be there is there. Sugar Ray Robinson showing all the bounce and everything that he needs to score heavy shots. Left hand scores, another left hook scores by Ray Robinson. He hurt those ribs in the first four or five rounds, and now he's got the right hand free almost any time he wants. You notice he banged that rib cage again. Left hand in the face of uh, Jake Lamotta. Ray Robinson to the left of your screen. Lamotta in the black front to the back for you. The welterweight champion giving the middleweight champion all he can handle tonight. I've got Ray Robinson comfortably out in front of this fight. Now it would almost take a knockout for Jake Lamotta to win this fight. Look at the left hook. The series of left hooks by Sugar Ray Robinson. Robinson, of course, has never been knocked out in his career, so I doubt if Jake LaMotta can execute that. Look at the shots taken to that face, and the way that left arm is hanging, it's just target practice, and the right hand crashes to the jaw of Jake LaMotta. LaMotta wants to hold the left hand high, but he can't. Look at him bang those ribs again. Oh, I can feel that his mouth. He had the idea early in the fight that he had a fight plan, he knew what he wanted to execute, and he has been able to do it. A lot of times a boxer will come into the ring with an idea, but he can't execute as a left. Wow, that left hook was really strong by Ray Robinson. The middleweight champ having all kinds of trouble. Look at this left hook scoring again. And the right hand, Ray Robinson knows is there, using his height advantage. Remember, he's lighter, but he's much taller. Been a big difference here in this sixth fight between the two. Every fight has been competitive, and while the score might be a little lopsided right now, this has been a tremendous fight because of the courage of Lamata. Right now, Robinson is really punishing Jake Lamata. Lamata, you can just feel, wants it so bad, but notice he's being backed off for the first time in the fight. Up the shot, right hand, right hand, and there he is. Spins the head, left hook, right hand, and a rib cage. Oh, it's gonna really hurt Jake Lamata. Wow, I would be surprised if those ribs are broken. Referee Frank Sakata taking a real good uh, look. Frank Sakura, that is, taking a real good look at uh, Jake Lamotta right now because 
Lamont is being punished here in the 12th. He was punished in the 11th, but it was pretty even up until that point. And notice that Ray Robinson just ties him up when he wants to. He punches when he wants to. Referee Frank Secor separates the two. Again, for one of the few times the uppercut lands. Right hand behind the ear. Right hand raises the jaw. Left hand inside. He tries to tap the ribs again of Jake LaMotta. LaMotta is going to be one hurting man out there. Oh, he bangs the rib again. Hits that rib again. And look at Jake whisked away from the pain. And now his elbow comes down as the belt ends. Round 12. Round number 13 action. You saw that uh, Jake LaMotta was really hurting in between rounds. His brother was trying to cheer him on while his corner men worked on him. But this man is hurt. His ribs are hurt. His face is a mess. And Ray Robinson is right on top of him here in round 13. The question now is how much longer can Jake LaMotta take this kind of punishment? It would take a knockout for him to win because I have Robinson winning every round from the 7th through the 12th. And we're in the 13th now. And it's Robinson landing at will. Big right hand. Takes an opportunity to get a deep breath for himself here. He's back up on the toes. He'll come with the left jab in the face again, looking to land the big right hand as Jake hangs that left arm down so he doesn't get hit in the ribs again. He doesn't care if he gets hit in the face. He just doesn't want to. Oh, that's a bottom shot. He was trying to avoid. Oh, he did not want to get hit there again. Look at the elbow now trying to protect him. His whole left side is exposed. The referee, Frank Sikora, is going to consider stopping this fight, I'll tell you, because Jake is almost defenseless right now. He does not want look at these shots. He's being hit at will by the great welterweight champion who's about to become the middleweight champion of the world, I believe. Look at the shots being landed at will by Sugar Ray Robinson. While Lamana is just really looking like a beaten fighter now. That arm is hanging again. He does not want to get hit. And Ray Robinson wants to hit him about one or two more times in that rib. And that will be it for Jake LaMotta. I'll tell you, Jake is uh, not short on courage, but he's lacking in the boxing ability. He does not lack in a desire. They call him the nickname, the Raging Bull. You can see why. I said it before. We take a knife to the heart to drop this man. Look at the right hand landing. Jake cannot keep his left hand up, and he really doesn't want to lift his left elbow because of all things. Oh! Despite the terrible beating, Jake LaMotta proudly and defiantly told Robinson, Ray, you never knocked me down. Robinson had taken five of their six battles, but never sent LaMotta to the canvas. Their long wing romance was now over. Sugar Ray Robinson went on to win the middleweight title four more times with a series of great wars against Randy Turbin, Bobo Olsen, Gene Fulmer, and Colin Basilio. Robinson retired with 175 wins and 109 knockouts. Jake LaMotta fought just 10 more times before retiring for good in 1954. The Raging Bull was perhaps the toughest fighter of all time. With boxing's hardest chin, LaMotta never knocked down in 106 fights. I'm Ray Leonard, and I'll see you again on Sugar Ray's Hit Parade.